So now in this video, we're only going to focus on the backlight of this uh, it's a handheld oscilloscope. There you can see the backlight uh, went dark. That was 30 seconds after I last pressed a button. And uh, when I powered this up, it was on the uh, digital multimeter uh, screen. So that's where I'm going to set it now. But in case when you are powering with the battery, the backlight will be lit to a certain level. And then unless it's level one, it'll dim after uh, 30 seconds, the way it came when it arrived. So we're going to adjust that. So we got the USB plug in there. It's sunk in quite a bit, but the charger they give you, it has a long uh, plastic uh, plug. And so the uh, one they give you works really well for uh, charging this. And usually that snaps in easier. But in any case, if you have it plugged into USB, C, you won't have a problem, but with battery, the backlight will dim. So let's focus on that. So first we need to uh, get to scope and uh, it might already be scope when you have it. So pressing scope now though, just brought the backlight back up. So it should be any button brings the backlight back up to the setting that it was at. So now we go uh, to scope and uh, let's do a digital multimeter. You see if I hit menu, nothing happens. If we go to scope, then uh, we hit menu and uh, this pops up. So I think it has to be under a uh, scope and uh, maybe, maybe something else will work. But as far as I know, it's on scope. So backlight, the light level we have now, we can easily adjust. So I think that's backlight luminescence is uh, what they have in the uh, the manual. So we also have four other screens that we can see there of options. So we're gonna go to number two. So the backlight time. So after 30 seconds in one of my videos, when the uh, first video that uh, I didn't have it charging, every uh, 30 seconds it went dim, it went dim all the time. And again, all I had to do was hit a button and uh, just like with the menu popping down, uh, it would dark, I had to hit a button to get the light back up. So we want to change from uh, 30 seconds. I'm going to do 120. So you can see there's also infinite where it doesn't turn off at all. So there's five settings, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90, and 120. So I'm going to keep it 120, uh, both to save battery and also as a reminder that it will, uh, the backlight will go off every once in a while because I'm making these videos for people completely new to the meter, it's a new meter for me too. So I'm learning as I go. So anybody watching this video, I'm trying to keep everything simple, one topic at a time. Now we're looking at the backlight, it turned off on its own. Uh, that uh, menu, I should say, went away on its own, but we could also hit the menu again and uh, get it to go away. So I'm not sure how long that is. Also this powers off after a little while. Let's uh, do that, same, same basic uh, procedure. So it uh, remembered where we were, on the menu and you can see shut down five minutes that happened to me once five minutes isn't that too bad uh, but that's it that's all you have to do you can make it so it doesn't I, I don't suggest doing that because uh, it's not good to completely drain lithium-ion batteries that's what's in here and I'm sure it turns off when it's still safe but uh, there's no point uh, there should be a time limit there where you're gonna step away and pretty much be stepped away for good every time so you might as well have it automatically shut off and uh, otherwise we are uh, done we could hit scope um, menu get rid of that uh, we're gonna stay under the scope setting now and uh, that's it for this video so I'm gonna hit the power off button and uh, sometimes you hit it for like a second and it turns off sometimes it doesn't so just keep trying um, but I don't think you have to hold it for any period of time so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.